What's going on people, back again. When you go outside, all of the stress and things holding you down disappear, man. I find the more I go outside and take strolls, take walks, my mind is freer. Things come to me actually, uh, ideas, uh, business ideas, uh, things I can do to improve my life, uh, thoughts on like things I can do with my family. All these things um, come into my mind and the stress that I feel isn't as stressful, I find. When you go outside into the real world, man, when you, all right, there's no one here at this moment in time, but when you kind of, you know, you go into a village or you go into town and the market and you you feel the heartbeat, you feel the, the, the life, I think that's when stress goes away. I think the more you're in cities like, technological cities and you know the business like when you go to um st paul's if you're in the uk you know it's about st paul's and all these kind of cities these skyscrapers and these gherkins and these ugly buildings and stuff like this and the financial district the city of london when you go into a place like that or if you're like indoors if you stay indoors um i feel that the stress just really gets to you man and you pick up the vibes you pick up you know other people's stress when you go to these places or when you indoors all these issues that you have feel that like they can't be resolved i think maybe listen i'm glad they have the whole hybrid working and working from home since the pandemic and i think that's beneficial for people getting uh, jobs that they wouldn't have gotten before maybe because of location purposes and spending more time with their families but i do think there is a beauty of just like being out going outside more and i feel that since that whole pandemic thing everything's more online we order food online we order shopping online um we game online um everything's sort of converted to online i think you can kind of get by if you wanted to and not leave the house um maybe in a month for a month i think you could maybe longer i don't know i think you can get everything you need by doing online stuff, ordering online and things like this. And I think, um, I think when we used to go out, when we used to be in the real world and go out and fend for ourselves and buy your goods, you know, do all your stuff outside traveling. I think that was just good for your mental, our mental health. And I think that's probably, it could be a factor in why our mental health is decreasing, why we're getting more stressed, we're getting more burnout. You know, I used to love going to Brixton Market. Not so much now. I haven't been in a while, actually. But back in the day, I'd say about over 10 years ago, you go to Brixton Market, man. And that was the, the, the heart of the town, man. When you go there and you see all the people, the vegetables there, the people, the owners of markets, you can haggle with them. I remember I used to go with like aunties and stuff. And they used to haggle for like, oh, yeah, give me that. You know, they'd sell something for five pounds. Like... You're in for four pound, man, like, you know, them kind of thing. And, oh, no, 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 I, right, yeah, yeah, all right, madam, here you go, here you go. You know, them kind of things. And you'd be like, ah, you know, laughing around, joking, and, you know, what is, you're getting a good deal on this, like, oh, I've got all these, uh, all these planting for two pound, or, you know, all these kind of things. You know, I think that was, that was life, man. That was, it was beautiful. You kind of took it for granted, it's just going to the market, but I feel there's a beauty in that. You know, I think it also helped your social skills. You're talking to more people, you're negotiating, all these kind of things. And maybe not the, you know, you're not negotiating business deals or things like this, but, you know, you're, you're, you're just on a small scale. You're kind of bartering, communicating, socializing. I think that's going. I think that's going now. And um, I just feel that has something to do with why I think they were saying mental health is the worst it's ever been you know like from you know from taking records we're in a low point you know in the west i do think it's got something to do with this being outside in nature of people and i feel that unless we do it as well when we do interact with people we're awkward around each other it's more kind of like you don't trust everyone you don't you think everyone's out to get you in some sort of fashion and they think the same, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone's feeling like we're under threat. So I think there is something to just going outside, man, if you can.
go out for a walk, go out for nature, do some grounding, go in your, go in a park, things like this, man. I think this is good for the soul. It's good for the heart. And um, I think maybe do a lot for our mental health. But yeah, let me know what you think about this, man. This is um, this is something I've uh, felt for a long time in regards to just being indoors. I just feel like I'm more stressed indoors. You know, I don't think we're designed for that. Sitting on our desks, like, you know, backs hurting, you know, all this kind of stuff there for like eight hours, grinding out work and all these kind of things. Sometimes the the things will be sold where I leave the desk, go out, walk, have eureka moments, come back, I'm able to complete the task, you know, because your mind's working a bit more in a positive way. So, yeah, let me know what you think about that, people. Be interested to hear. Um, yeah, man, but thank you for everyone engaging, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of that. And, yeah, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.